Magic Sniparata here in New York City for another episode of The Raps Drinking with the Stars, presented by Zacapa Rum, the most exquisite rum in the world. Tonight, I'm joined by half man, half avatar, I'll take Mr. You, Laz Alonzo. Oh, man. My man, what's happening? Good to see you. Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Listen, I want to make a quick toast, a Zacapa Rum toast, I should say, to the mysteries of Laura. I love Congratulations. it. Congratulations on season two coming September 23rd. Yes, Wednesday Correct. nights, 8 p.m. NBC. NBC. 7 Central. What's it been like, the journey? Working with Deborah Messing, I mean, what's the whole process I'm, been I'm gonna like? tell you, man, it's been an awesome, awesome ride. Right. Deborah is a comedic genius. Uh, she's, you know, lovingly the Lucille Ball of our time, mm -hmm. in my opinion. For me, it's been like a, 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 an acting course in, in comedic timing. Right. You know, I've just been sharpening my craft and most of the stuff that I've done, you know, Avatar, Fast and Furious, most of the, my, my body of work has been dramatic work. Right. Yeah. But here on this show, I've been able to lighten it up a little bit and have fun. Exactly. You mentioned James Cameron. I got to ask, what was the experience like? I mean, Avatar, it's, you know. The stuff that you see now yeah. in film, when we were doing it, it was all experimental. Uh -huh. That was the very beginning of, you know, motion capture to the level of where it is now. Here you were capturing people's expressions, you know, people's emotion. If we cried, like, you could see it in our characters. So it, it was revolutionary at that time. Right. Our expectations were never that high. Right. And so when it did do very, very well and it continued to do well, um, for, we, were, we were shocked. Mm -hmm. We were all shocked. He elevated what I thought was hard work. He took it to the next level. And just seeing his passion and, and how into it he was, like you knew, okay, this is gonna be something special. Fast and Furious. Okay. How are you gonna go against Toretto and, and the crew? Man, I'll tell you, what I remember mostly about Fast and Furious, and now it's a lot more special than anything else, is working with Paul Walker. Right. It's good to see people who are just genuine mm -hmm. be successful at the same time. But working with Paul, like I really got a, a, a tremendous amount of respect working with him on that set because, you know, Paul's a man's man. I mean, right. he, he did all his own stunts. I mean, he was just a cool dude. Yeah. You know, and, and when the movie would wrap, if there was a hurricane in Haiti or, a, or an earthquake in, 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 in South America somewhere, he'd grab his backpack, jump on a plane go. and go and help. Crazy. Like he did everything in his power. It didn't matter how much money he made, you know, he never let that interfere with how he could contribute to humanity. Right. You know, so it was a loss. Yeah, it was a tough absolutely. loss. Absolutely. Anybody that, that knows Paul has felt that sense of loss. Right. Cheers. Hey, to Paul Walker. To man. Paul, man. Seriously. Absolutely. Yep. Cheers.